I bought a $2 Peppa Pig Ultimate Australian Colouring Book. That's right, mate. We're going down under to my home country of Australia. The sharks are bigger, the spiders have more legs, and every animal wants to kill ya. So strap yourselves in, we're going for a wild ride. I'll be doing a head count at the start and end of the video, and if some of you don't make it all the way through, I'll send flowers home to your families. A quick warning, this video is not made for kids. If you're easily scared and don't want your childhood ruined, click off this video now. I'm going to be transforming these innocent colouring pages into horrific artworks. There's going to be lots of different horror references from movies, video games, cryptids, so it's up to you to see if you can figure them all out. I'll be super impressed if you recognise all of the different references that will be showing up in this video. There's over 30 hours of drawing footage compressed into what you're watching now, and I've saved the most detailed drawing till last, so be sure to stick around for that. If you enjoy horror art videos like this one, and want to support a random Australian dude who draws in colouring books in his bedroom, now that I put it like that, what am I doing with my life? Consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Maybe that will validate that I'm not completely insane doing this. Anyway, how pretty is this transformation of Peppa Pig? When she holds the seashell up to her ear, she can hear the screams of all the people who have drowned in the ocean. Hello everyone, it's time to grab your favourite crayons and colour along. In Australia, we love to have barbecues. Chuck a shrimp on the barbie, mate. Shut up! This is my section of the video. Sorry, mate. Don't speak again. <laughs> we'll edit that out. Where was I again? Barbecues are very fun when you invite lots of friends. Speaking of which, whose friend is that in the background? I didn't invite them. <laughs> I can't really remember what game this character is from. It's almost like I've got amnesia or something. That was terrible. You know what tastes good with corn? Bacon! Who's next on the barbecue? <laughs> Georgie boy! <laughs> You're looking extra succulent! <laughs> Stop squealing and get over here, mate! Peppa Pig loves surfing. Hopefully, there's no sharks. Welcome to Australia. I couldn't help myself, this colouring page was begging for a big shark in the background. Australia is home to some beautiful beaches, and at those beaches can be some big sharks. And they're hungry. I like to have a varied diet. I've been eating human all week, and some pork will be a nice palate cleanser. If you ever come visit Australia, I'm sure you'll want to check out the wildlife. And that of course includes the kangaroos. But there's something off about this fat skippy. Not sure what though. This one's inspired, of course, by the bloodthirsty animatronics from Five Nights at Freddy's. Now, I would make a joke about this being Five Nights Down Under, but that sounds like the title of an inappropriate adult film, and I don't want to get my channel demonetized. So forget I said anything. Let's hop over the page and color the rest of the kangaroo family. Ah, oh, that was terrible. Wait a second. Who's that sneaking up behind Mrs. Kangaroo?
It looks like Mummy Longlegs from Poppy Playtime has come to snatch away Kylie the Kangaroo. Bye bye! Next up, I'll be doing a transformation based off an indie horror game with a really cool art style. See if you can guess what it is. This transformation is based off the game Silt, which is a surreal underwater puzzle adventure indie horror game, and the art style is quite beautiful. Creepy, like I wouldn't want to be swimming there, but beautiful. At the start of this video, you may have noticed a strange passenger on the plane, almost as if it was foreshadowing their future appearance. Is that time now? Nah, probably not. I reckon it's safe to go to bed and leave the curtains wide open because a creepy stalker wouldn't follow you home from the airport and wait outside your house for you to go to sleep and sneak inside and steal your children, would they? This lovely character is from the indie horror game aptly named the man from the window. I hope you've locked the front door. A quick warning if you have trypophobia or don't like drawings with lots of little holes, skip this one, it's gonna get a bit gross. But for everyone else who has grown numb inside to my disgusting drawings, welcome friends. Enjoy. Looks like Daddy Pig has transformed into a leaky sea sponge. That's not a sentence I thought I'd ever say. Australia is home to the magnificent Great Barrier Reef. And while the coral might be getting bleached, let's not dwell on that. That's a future problem to deal with. There are still some wonderful sea creatures to observe. Come on, let's catch this one and chuck it in SeaWorld. On closer inspection, maybe we'll leave this one. In case you're wondering, I'm scraping some soft pastels to get a fine dust, and then rubbing that with a tissue to get a nice soft blend. Wow, how informative. Art lessons with Jordan. This was definitely a bit of a strange transformation, and I'll be pretty impressed if anyone picks up on the Mr. White reference for this one. Mr. White is a survival horror game demo. Not the Breaking Bad Mr. White. For this next drawing, I'm getting some inspiration from another one of Australia's wonderful animals that will happily eat you. The Crocodile.
Crikey, it's a long croc. This one is based off Trevor Henderson's Long Horse, but it's the Australian version, Long Crocodile. Is it friendly? Maybe. Just don't step on its tail. This will be the last drawing of the video, and like I said before, I've saved the most detailed one till the end. My voice is about to give out because I think I'm getting sick again, but enjoy the rest of the video. Don't mind the hellstorm in the background, Peppa Pig and her family are enjoying the Australian outback, oblivious to the impending doom. Ah, sweet ignorance. I'm exhausted after this video. I'm pretty sure I've set the world record for the amount of time spent colouring in a Peppa Pig colouring book. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up. A massive thank you to all of my amazing patrons for supporting my channel that little bit extra. I appreciate you all, and I'll catch you in the next video. Oh, I'm dead.